Hello. Second. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Uh, Wellness Wednesdays. Here I am. I am so excited to be back for this. Um, it's been weighing on my mind for <clears throat> quite a while, and as well as other things, but um, here I am. So here we go. If you're here, thank you so much. Um, I'm if you're watching live or the replay, let me know where you're watching from. And if you have not connected with me or in my group, Total Wellness Corners, reach out to me. Send a private message. You are missing out on lots and lots of free gifts, uh, books, you know, that books that are changing my life, mentors that are changing my life. And I just want to share a little bit of that goodness with you and I want to do some real talk uh, things it, wellness covers so many areas you have body you have mind you have soul I mean so many areas of our life in our professional life in our personal life in our social life it, it just makes a world of difference on how how I, this is just my personal um, thing, but how I can perceive different situations. I was such a negative Nelly, and, and that's changing. I'm changing a lot, and I like the changes. So tonight we're going to talk about um, stop making excuses. Doesn't matter if if we're talking about a business or your employment or um i wish oh hey nicholas how are you doing honey thank you for hopping on i appreciate that um so i was just covering my topic here we uh stop making excuses okay in your business in your job in your personal life in your social life doesn't matter this we all do Okay, so what kind of excuses do you make? I can tell you what some of mine are. Maybe you can relate with me. Yeah, I'm so glad you caught me live. Nicholas, I know it's very late from you. Nicholas is from Sweden. I think it is like 1 a.m. there, and he's staying up to watch this. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Nicholas. You are such such a great supporter and i am of you as well in fact nicholas um i'm hoping that he is going to be on one of my wellness wednesdays and talk about how he can make a difference um in a lot of these areas as well so okay so what kind of i'm going to tell you what all my excuses well a lot of them okay um and let me know if, if any of these resonate with you or, or if you use them i will be successful when my family starts supporting me okay uh that was a big one for me uh i work a regular job you know, I don't have time. I'm too old. I'm not good at, at that. I am not a people person. I don't think I have what it takes. I'm not talented enough. I never done that before. You know, I'm, I can't do this on fear of getting scammed. I used that excuse for three years. It's all I thought. Absolutely all I thought. And so what I ended up doing is I was creating exactly what I was thinking about, okay? I got scammed terribly three years ago, okay? It's all I thought of every day, every night, every time I was reaching out to people or making new connections, it, it was always in the back of my mind, okay? It made it impossible for me to make a sincere connection with real people. And that became my biggest hurdle. 
Um, and it was also the biggest excuse I had to date. And I, and I thought, you know what? It, all of my excuses were justified, every single one of them. I didn't realize this. I didn't realize what I was doing to myself and possibly to other people that I treated crude or rough because I was automatically assuming, you know, this person is, is wanting to do me harm. And you know what I mean? Instead of giving person a, um, you know, an honest chance to, most of those people I dealt with did nothing wrong. I was a total, total B. I was, I didn't, it, it, it's no wonder. I mean, I was pushing people away. I was. And if it weren't for my mentors, I think I still, and, and this I have not gotten over very long ago, not very long ago at all. You know, I still talk about it. I need to talk about it. I need to talk about it because if I can help one person not go through this, oh my Lord, that would be amazing. That's okay, Nicholas. <laughs> I, I know we all have. And the thing is, we don't, I don't know. Is there one person out there that has done any of the excuses that I have come up with, but you are still successful? I would love to know if somebody out there is, is like that. I mean, otherwise, I would say what I'm saying is pretty dead on just because of my personal experience. I have learned, though, to give everybody the benefit of the doubt until they cross that line. Until they cross that line, then it's over. You know what I mean? And then I always second guess myself, too. You know, did I do the right thing? You know what? We will have the right words to the right people that have the right ears to hear it at that time. Do you know what I mean? I don't care. If I don't get along with somebody now, it's usually for a legitimate reason, and, and I don't even worry about it anymore. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> I'm getting better at that, and I like that. That empowers me. That empowers me because I know, I know that that will never happen again. Absolutely not. So we learn from our mistakes. We are not perfect. We have to make mistakes. We have to in order to learn. So if, let's just say you are, you, you have your own business online, which most of us do. Face it, nowadays we all need added income, don't we? I mean, geez, who wants to trade money for time the rest of your life? I do not. I do not. And I've wasted too many years because of my excuses. Okay? We have to stop being the victim. We have to. Forget why things won't work and try to find and believe in just one reason why it will. There's no excuse for us not living up to our potential. We must do everything in our power to become a victor, not a victim. The pity party has to stop. And don't I don't want you to think like I'm at you. I'm not. I'm not at all. This is um, just things that I've learned and I've learned things the hard way. I'm done learning things the hard way. I'm ready to listen to my mentors and take it to the next level. Um, uh, there is enough abundance in the world for everyone. There is. And Robert Hollis 
One of my mentors tells me all the time. He tells everybody all the time. If nobody has given you permission, let him be the first. Let me be the second. You have the right to be rich. You have the right to succeed in anything that you want to do. You know, this is um, this is kind of funny. With it is funny. After I got scammed, I went through. It was a horrible, horrible ordeal. Um, after I thought about it, I thought, you know what? This is my calling. This is my calling to help those broadsters turn their lives around. That's exactly what I thought. Do you see where we create our own limited beliefs? I, I mean, it's mind boggling. This is what I have done over and over and over again. And it, it's time to say enough. Okay. Let me tell you what my truths are. We need to be truthful. We need to not lie to ourselves. We have to get over our stinking thinking and actually get rid of our ego. Shut up. Listen. Listen more than we talk to the people that are doing exactly what we want to be doing right now. And follow what they do. You know what I mean? Follow what they do. Um, I, I could go on with this subject for a very long time. I don't want to bore you. Um, I don't know if anybody's even here, but uh, the sad news is most of us are completely unaware that we are even putting up these roadblocks. Many people have very sad pasts. You know, um, kids born, you know, addicted to drugs, you've got abusive parents, you've got neglect, you've got rape, you've got murder in the family, all these horrible things. And we let those things control what we want in the present and what we want in the future. Whatever has happened in the past, we can't, we can't change that. It's past, it's done. Turn around, walk away, let it go, move on. It's not an easy task. And I will have one on how can we forgive? How can we move on? How can we forgive and just, my mentor taught me something that we can do to get over that. And, and like I said, I would do that in a different show, but we need to forgive. It doesn't mean we will ever forget and you will probably never, ever get any kind of an apology. But if we stay in that moment, then you have given that person control over your life. It's time to take that control back now. Okay. That's all I got um, today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a little bit of value. Um, it has become my passion to share my knowledge, what I have gone through in the past five years. I think I can help many people. I absolutely do. I'm not trying to sell you anything. This is a, a nonprofit thing that I just plan on doing, you know, giving value if I can. And that's what it should be about, you know, things that we learn that can help others come along with us, learn that and then give that back. Teach somebody else that. It doesn't always have to be about money. It doesn't. So, if you got any value, if you know somebody that needs to hear this, please share. And thanks for watching. Super excited to be back, and I hope to continue. So, all right, bye.